Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Gemini. Hope you're all well. Welcome back to all my subscribers and a big welcome to all the new viewers. Thanks so much everyone for dropping in to listen. I really appreciate it. See what's happening with the overall energy surrounding Gemini in their love life. Overall energy surrounding Gemini in their love life. Gemini, Gemini. Oh yes, some of you are feeling a little broken hearted all right oh yes look at that what is going on the thinking man and anxiety some of you may be thinking too much okay feeling a little anxious about somebody you're feeling a little broken hearted i feel like there's a need for some kind of clarity i think some of you are definitely in your heads thinking there's some anxiety here to do with love to do with somebody that you love some of you may be wanting to reach out to get some clarity with someone okay a little bit of fear as well there's somebody here who may be a little afraid to reach out okay they may be up in their head thinking thinking feeling a little anxious a little worried uh, this can also be a little remorse and regret for a broken heart Let's see what's going on gemini Gemini, what's coming in? What's going out? What's changing in the love lives of the Gemini viewers? Clear messages and guidance, please, for Gemini. What do they need to know about their love life? What does Gemini need to know about their love life? Gemini. All right. Yeah, there's a healing energy. Tempering your emotions, your feelings, keeping everything balanced. So some of you are going through healing your broken heart, okay? There's somebody who may be coming in. They may want a reconciliation, all right? They could be a Sagittarius or have that in their chart. I feel like there's a need to temper everything, just to keep your balance to do with this, or someone's coming in to heal this, all right? They may be reaching out. Somebody wearing their heart on their sleeve. Look at this. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo energy. Wow. Let's get these back in order. I think this is going to be a little bit of a busy read. Yeah, look at that. So there's something that's come to an end and there was a broken heart. Somebody wants to move forward. They want a reconciliation. They want to heal something to do with this. All right. But there's some kind of fear. But uh, this is somebody is trying to use all the power they have to take control, to move things forward, all right, in their favor to do with this, to heal it. But it's a neat, there's a need for balance. There's definitely some chemistry here. Wow. Yeah, someone's looking, whoops, someone's look. I always have trouble with that card. Somebody is looking at things from a different perspective. They may be checking you out, thinking about you. Whatever happened here, they're seeing things differently, okay? Somebody is... Um, seeing something different looking at things from a different perspective somebody may be coming in using a different approach okay as well yeah look at that there's somebody moving cancer pisces scorpio energy i feel like we've got an aries leo sagittarius queen of wands this could be you gemini you could have this in your chart standing up for what you believe in being very passionate working very hard very focused on getting things moving in your favor all right, but there is a little bit of fear or there's some kind of broken heart issue. We'll see what, when I see this like this, I almost feel like somebody may have hurt your feelings or broke your heart or you're just feeling that way uh, while you're really trying to focus on moving things forward. Okay, there's something here you're very focused on, you know, that you're working very hard for. Making, you know, you've got good luck here though. I do feel like things are going to move forward, but something came to an end and that ending has made somebody look at things from a different perspective and a different angle. And I feel you've got somebody coming in, man holding a heart. This is, could happen very quickly, very suddenly. Yeah, change of approach. Somebody may have some remorse and regret for not being clear, making their intentions clear, or they're trying to get the clarity before they come in. But this also could be you. So take it how it resonates. We have a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Somebody is looking right up at this, okay? Someone's having an epiphany, trying to get some clarity, feeling, um, yeah, someone's get, got a broken heart. Something came to an end. And whatever that is, it's changed this person's point of view, their perspective. They're having some kind of an epiphany. Uh, and they're thinking about coming in to communicate this. This is somebody, though, I got to say, be careful with this person. They have one foot in the door and one out. 
This person may have a fear of sharing their feelings and their emotions. It could be simple as that, okay? Yes, so look at this, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody here has been possibly working on themselves, trying to get clear, right? Somebody's been doing a lot of thinking, working very, very hard. Somebody just simply works a lot too. They just work. This is a King of Pentacles, someone who's very focused on their finances. They're very practical. Uh, this, someone's maybe even realizing that they work too much. <laughs> They're too focused on their money. Mm -hmm. But this is someone I feel who's working on themselves, trying to get some clarity. So it's a Gemini Libra Aquarius energy, a problem, and we have Pisces here as well. Interesting energy, you guys. Yeah, there's somebody here who's having an epiphany. They want to come in and work on this, or they need to work on themselves and get clear before they come towards you. They want to, but they're afraid. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. Someone has a fear maybe of getting their heart broken. Yeah, so I feel like this is somebody who's trying to choose a path. They're trying to figure out how to approach you. And they're looking at things from every angle. You know, they know they need to take a different approach. They know they need to see things differently. And I feel that you may have ended things. You may have stood up for yourself and put an end to something. There's a lot of chemistry between the two of you. There's no doubt. <laughs> no matter how you look at it, that chemistry is there. Okay. Someone feels some remorse, regret, or they're feeling anxious about this. They're scared to get hurt. Maybe they regret hurting your feelings, all right? Uh, you've been focused on this a lot, I feel, but I do feel you may have stood up for yourself with that Queen of Wands, feeling some pretty strong Sag energy there. Keeping yourself balanced, healing yourself, moving forward, making sure things go in your favor. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Let's see. Temperance for Gemini. Why is temperance here for Gemini? Why is temperance here? Gemini. There we go. Yeah. So some kind of communication about a reconciliation. Somebody wants to put a lot more passion and energy uh, towards you. Somebody's going to communicate. They could be a Sag. They could be another fire sign. Doesn't have to be. Text messages, communication, it's about healing, but it's temper. Somebody needs to temper their emotions. Uh, slow down, okay? That's what I feel. Somebody wants to move forward very quickly. And uh, there's this, you know, putting a lot of passion and energy into getting things to go their way. They could have fire in their chart as well. So there's a need to temper that, okay? Definitely. Queen of Wands, don't let things rush too forward. There you are, Gemini. Yeah, you're manifesting something here. You're standing in your power, standing up for what you believe in. You're manifesting something. You want things to go in your way. So it could be you. You may want to just like, hurry up. Let's have this reconciliation. Let's heal this. There's so much chemistry. Everything's so beautiful. Let's talk about it. Yeah, there's a need for communication, things to move forward. I do feel like it's going to. I think you're going to get a communication or you're going to communicate with somebody. You might need to temper a few things if you're feeling like you want to move in a hurry. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. Queen of, or pardon me, Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Yeah, you got everything you need here to manifest this. All right, Gemini absolutely everything wheel of fortune is in your favor but you have some fear yeah so you're trying to figure things out here you're trying to figure out how to fix something yeah definitely trying to figure out how to fix something you have everything you need okay you do you will figure this out you're just up in your head i really think you're you're very much focused on this Wheel of Fortune, having things going just right. And I do feel like you have good luck, so try to relax a little. Wheel of Fortune, why is this here for Gemini? There we go. Yes, you want it? Yeah, you have everything you need. You have the Wheel of Fortune. You're looking out for yourself. You're taking care of your pentacles. But whatever it is, you're figuring something out here. Uh, I feel like you're single, most definitely. But you're, this is a fear, okay? Yeah, you, you're single. You got everything you need. You have the Wheel of Fortune. It's moving in your favor. I, there could be somebody who's coming towards you. Yes, very much so. I'm trying to figure out whether you are single or not. <laughs> that could be the as simple as that. They could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, I see. Yeah. 
Tell me about the hanged man. Somebody wants to know if you're single. They see you as the wheel of fortune. Uh-huh. The hanging man. Why is the hanging man here? Someone's checking you out from every angle. Oh, yeah. They're going to come forward. You're going to get some kind of... Yeah, they, someone feels a little bit left out. So someone may have ghosted you, left you out, okay, or maybe... You did that to them and it's changing their perspective. They feel like there's no hope. Maybe they ghosted you or they've been ignoring you. But I feel like they're going to come in and communicate, all right? Because there is always hope. It's just a matter of communication. Yeah, so it's yes, making sure this person doesn't repeat. They're trapped in their head. They're thinking about something. Somebody's overthinking. They want to make sure they don't repeat the same mistakes of the past. They know they need to take a different approach. They need to see things from your perspective as well. Okay. They may have ghosted you, ignored you, or vice versa. Wow. Whatever their approach is, they know they need to be careful. We have the tower. This person's ready for love. I feel they are. If you're if you're a, a male, this is you. If they're a male, this is them. And this it has men and women here. I mean, it could be either or, but I feel like in this deck, it'll generally say if it's a male or a female. So it comes up pretty clear. We have the tower. Yeah, so there's an epiphany. Yeah, somebody somebody is seeing the truth, having an aha moment. There's love here, that, but there's a fear. Somebody wants to reach out, but they have a fear. They're scared they're going to get hurt or they hurt you in the past. They ignored you, ghosted you. They, whatever, you may have ended things and made yourself single because they hurt you. You you couldn't see yourself moving forward with them. But I think they're coming in to manifest a new beginning. They're trying to figure out if you're single. They definitely are. Yeah, this is a reconciliation. This person, someone you knew before, they want to make sure they don't repeat the same mistakes. They can't stop thinking about you, about how to communicate, what to say. They want to make sure they do this right. They know they have to. All right, change their attitude, their perspective, their approach. And we have this uh, aha moment, reconciliation. It's good coming very quickly. This person's very sweet on you. They have very sweet feelings, sweet memories, most definitely. There was definitely some love here, some emotion. We have the, this person's scared to get hurt now too, because they may have ignored you or ghosted you. Maybe they felt you didn't have any money, you know, or they, maybe they made you feel like you weren't good enough at some point and they they know they need to change their approach and that's the biggest theme in here so we have this king of pentacles what is this person's intentions towards look at this this person's looking right up this person's definitely works a lot you may have worked together in the past okay i feel like they've been working on themselves they're you know they've taken this time to work on themselves while they've been working building their pentacles to think about this they're seeing things differently okay so very interesting we have the king of pentacles why is the king of pentacles here what is this person's intentions there we go uh this person's going to reach out online online community you may have met this person you've been out Maybe on a few dates, you've talked, you've shared some feelings, okay? I feel like they're very much wanting to know if you're single. They want to know if you've met anyone else, okay? Yeah, very interesting. They may, I think this person's going to come in and put the work in. They're trying to figure out the best way to communicate, to approach. They're trying to, they know they need to be very clear. They're a bit stressed about it, and I think you are too. I feel like you're in the middle of this energy. It's like you... It's like you're both thinking of each other. You're both stuck in that energy. It's just something that is not going to go away. No matter how much this person tries to move away, they know they can't. Okay. So we have the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. So this person's, yeah, they're thinking here. They're up in their head wondering what is the best approach. They're trying to think about what to say, how to move forward. They probably want to know if you have somebody else. They want to make sure, right? It's like they don't want to reach out to you if you have somebody else. All right. Uh, and they're thinking about maybe an invitation. Let's get together, have a talk. Let's have coffee. They may be watching you on the Internet as well. So we look at that. Yeah, this person, I feel like what they're, oh, I know what they're going to do. They're going to try to take like a light and lively approach here. I feel like they're just suddenly going to come in and just say something rather blunt. Okay, if you have Aries, Leo, or Sag in your chart, and I feel like a lot of you do, or you have that energy, you, um, <laughs> I just, I don't know why, but I feel like 
this person, like they're working out the details here of what to say, how to approach you, okay? They're, they're thinking about this. And this person's been thinking about this repeatedly, like they've been repeating this in their head, trying to, you know, they're looking right at this, like, should I invite them out? Should I, you know, just communicate online? Should I share a few feelings? Oh, I wonder if I should approach them. Maybe they have someone else, right? So they're thinking about what to say because you might have someone. So they're it's like they're a little bit afraid to put the effort in in case you have somebody. But they are going to eventually just come out. They're going to be like light and lively, I think, because they're thinking about which is the best approach. Should I just be very practical, mundane, like, hey, how you doing? What's up, right? <laughs> Something very, you know, because they're scared to really put it out there. And because they don't know, right? They don't know. They're trying to find out, trying to get clarity if you've got somebody. And it's stressing the heck out of them. So we have the two of wands. So they have another approach, and that is to be light, lively, playful, just blunt, and ask you if you have anyone else, if you've met anyone, okay? Or do you want to get together and uh, have a coffee, have a drink, lunch, whatever? Uh, maybe it could be online communities, chatting online, right? Yeah, they want to know if you've got, if you've met anybody else. They're thinking about extending an invitation, but it's how to approach. Because if you have somebody, yeah, they can't handle the thought of that. Two of Wands. What's going on with the Two of Wands? Why is the Two of Wands here? Why is the Two of Wands here? Ah, look at that. Here's Leo Sag. We've got two fire sign energies here. Yeah, this person's eventually going to come in and take control. All right, and uh, yeah, they are going to just come in and fight for this. They're just going to take control and come in very blunt, very quick. This could be you as well. I mean, you may have that energy, but I feel like it's them. They know they need to come in and take control. They need to, it's like they need to put on the, um, the big boy, big girl panties, however you want to look at it and just do it, okay? Uh, they are definitely going to come in and take control. They are going to, this is somebody who does really want to uh, go the distance, right? But they know they need to fight for this. So they're going to sort of break the ice is what I feel and just uh, make a decision between the two. But they're going to level up. I think they're going to come on fairly strong. Uh, I think they're going to make that decision to come on strong. <laughs> definitely. Yeah, very sexy. You find each other very sexy, very attractive. This person could be self-employed entrepreneur. Okay, they're used to being in control. So, you know, and this is what they're thinking about too, right? And they, they may be thinking, oh, maybe that's the way they would, you know, things can move in my favor if I, if I come on strong. They need to make their intentions clear. So this is why I feel like they're going to take that approach. Yes. What is this broken heart about? Why is the broken heart here? I think it's fear. Why is the broken heart here for Gemini? A different read for you guys. Why is the broken heart here for Gemini? Broken heart. Why is this broken heart here? Broken heart. What is this about? Come on. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah. So somebody is uh, needs to do things right and make something right. Someone's afraid. Someone has a fear of commitment, okay? Yeah, or they need to come in and make things right, uh, balance things out. Someone may not have treated you fair in the past. They may have actually left you out in the cold. They want to come back around, no, but they know they can't make the same mistakes they made before. This is what it is. This person needs to come in and fight for what they want because I feel like the only way you're going to accept this person is, is they do kind of come on strong and fight for what they want and they're willing to go the distance. So, Because I feel like if they come in, I feel like what it is that they did before is they weren't clear. All right, They didn't make their intentions clear. They kind of acted a bit aloof, like they didn't give a hoot, you know, a little bit like that. You may have worked with this person and they were acting like they didn't care, but believe me, they were thinking about you if that's your scenario. And, uh, you know, they may have been light, lively, playful, flirty, friendly, and all that, but this is their, they got a choice to make two different approaches and they're going to choose this, the King of Staves, King of Wands approach. 
Yeah, they're going to come on strong. They're going to make themselves very clear. They are stressed about it, though. They have some regret and remorse. They didn't treat you right in the past, so they need to come in and share those feelings with you with the Knight of Cups. This is someone who had one foot in the door and one foot out in the past. Man holding a heart. Yes, this person's stable. Yeah, so this person's getting their emotions in control. They're getting themselves stable. They are ready uh, for love. They're ready for a commitment. They see you as someone stable. I feel they 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 definitely are. They're looking right up. They and this is the thing. They want to make sure you are too. That's the thing. So, yeah, they this is somebody. They they see you as that person. They really do. They see that there's balance here, but they know they didn't treat you right in the past, and they need to come in and and make this right. Okay, they need to do the right thing. There's. I feel they've had this aha moment. Right. They've had this. Where the heck is it now? Oh, I thought we had a thought we had an ace of swords here. Maybe not. Yeah. They need to make this right. They, I do feel this person had a fear of commitment uh, when you were with them before or if you were dating them uh, or you started to communicate and date and this person kind of just stopped. All right. You've been manifesting this, but I feel like this person is definitely uh, trying to figure you out. They could be a Virgo for some of you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Energy. Tell me about the thinking, man. Why is this here? Uh, yeah, so this person's about to make a decision. A big one. Okay, this is a reconciliation. They know they're going to have to make themselves clear. I feel like you are really thinking a lot about this as well, Gemini. This is air energy, getting crystal clear. You want this, but you are a bit anxious as well. But I think because you're overthinking, it's like you need to get out of your head. Okay, it's time to just communicate. It's both of your energy. And you're trapped in each other's energy. I feel like this person is ready to make that decision. They know they need to expose themselves and make themselves completely clear. They need to be ready to see this through, okay, to move forward. And I feel that um, the, the thing that's holding them back is the approach, how to communicate, okay, because of what happened in the past. So we have anxiety here, remorse and regret. Yeah, they're going to have to clear some things up with that. Tell me about the anxiety. Yes, this person. Yeah, this person has a bit of fear. Like you're a little worried this person. Uh, there's a Taurus energy, uh, some anxious energy of this person coming in and behaving exactly as they behaved in the past. This person may uh, have some regret for not committing to you, uh, for not being on the same page, for their past beliefs, traditions, and behaviors. So that's what I feel is holding this person back, okay? Little bit of a fear of approaching you, coming in to fight. I do feel like this person does work a lot, okay? And that may be something um, that they may want to talk about. Maybe that's why they were focusing on their money in the past. They weren't as focused on you. Uh, they may want to come in. I, it's almost like they were maybe a little immature in the past, but I feel like they've leveled up, okay? Maybe their approach in the past was immature, and they know that they can't do that. They need to see this through. They need to be willing to fight for this. So, lovely. And let's grab some outcome cards. Lovely Geminis. Here we go. Gemini. What is the outcome of this situation for Gemini? Where is this leading for Gemini? Where is this leading? Ah, uh, woman holding a coin. You are, yeah, so both of you, this is the, both of your energy. You're both focused on your coin, okay, your money, your future. You're both planning your future. You're in that energy right now. And I feel like you're both practical, grounded, financially stable, solid, looking into the future and being realistic. And that's the energy. This person does see you as someone who's just right. I feel they may have had a fear of commitment in the past, they maybe didn't treat you right, okay? But they now see you this way. They see you as someone who has everything they want. They see you as this wheel of fortune. And I feel like for yourselves, I feel like you have things moving in your favor. You're going to manifest it. You are figuring things out. You probably have some anxiety maybe about your finances right now. feel like you don't have enough. You're looking at things from every angle. And I feel like it's going to be okay. All right, I do. I feel like there is... Uh, 
definitely an energy of commitment, solid financial success in the future. Yeah, beautiful. It's just a matter of working out. Yeah, so I feel like there's someone here who's ready to open their heart uh, and let that love in, okay? There is some kind of romance. This person may be thinking, right? Going through the process, thinking how to approach you and knowing they need to be a bit more romantic. They need to romance you, take you out on dates. Now, I know a lot of people can say, oh, we're in lockdown. You know what? It, for a lot of places, lockdown is easing. People will be able to go out, take a walk in the park, go for lunch, have a drink, whatever, right? So take it as it resonates for you. This isn't something that's going to happen like that. Some of these things take time to process. Yeah, appreciate. Somebody appreciates you. They do. They see your worth. They see your value. Look at that right up here. They really do. And uh, this is somebody, you may have worked with this person. This may not be an ex. It may be someone who's had sweet feelings for you in the past. They're now having some kind of epiphany, seeing the truth. They need to come in and talk, clear things up. But this is, you may get a very sudden communication from this person. Okay, they do want something stable. They are now ready to offer up that love. Okay, lovely. So it's probably somebody who <laughs> never told you how they felt, okay? Maybe they didn't have enough money or felt they weren't good enough at the time. They're seeing things different now. Or maybe they felt you didn't, right? Whatever. Uh, it, it could be both of you, right? Changing your approach, changing your perspective, how you see the situation. So lovely energy, Gemini. I wish you guys the very best here. Take it. Let it do its thing. Don't try to control it. Let this person come in and see this through. Let them come in and fight for this, all right? They need to make this decision. The final decision will be yours, okay? So, because I do see, if especially if you have Taurus in your chart, that you have a little bit of anxiety here about this, okay? You want to make sure, some of you are really ready for uh, commitment. You want to make sure anyone who comes towards you that that's how they're going to be, okay? That they're not going to come in and repeat this again. Come in and then decide they're too afraid to, you know, get romantic, take you out, you know, whatever the your energy was. Definitely finances were an issue because I do feel like this person works a lot, so... Uh, maybe they didn't communicate that with you in the past. Maybe, you know, somebody here has been a low self-esteem. Maybe they were afraid to say, oh, I don't have enough money to start a relationship. I need to work more. Well, they're fina becoming financially stable now. So this person sees you. Um, they really do hold you in high regard. Okay, so take care of yourselves, Gemini. I wish you guys the best, and we'll see you next week.